if you look across the animal kingdom, the larger you are, the longer you live. Okay, so you can take thousand species and you can weigh, you know, on, on the x-axis you have their, their size, on the y-axis their life expectancy. It largely rises to the right. And, and you can see a, a monotonous curve. Now there are exceptions to this. Um, one of them is naked mole rats, yep. for example. Uh, naked mole rats, you know, are living way above. They punch above their weight. Dogs tend to punch below their weight. And humans is the biggest exception. We live about six, five to six times longer than we should uh, based, based on, our, on size. our size, which tells me that, uh, you know, we are the naked mole rats of primates. We do incredibly well, which means that we already have optimized a lot of these pathways that are, you know, promoting aging. Let's pivot a little bit to t a couple other things I want to chat about quickly. Let's talk about interleukin 11. Big trial last fall that looked at blocking interleukin 11, which is a molecule that's made by immune cells, plays an important role in inflammation. And this was done in mice and those mice lived longer. What do you make of the study? 